Welcome to the NetBox installation guide. We'll introduce you to the items in your package and the installation steps. Thank you for choosing UBT. Your package should contain the following items. One NetBox, an LTE Wi-Fi router with built-in media server for high-speed internet and entertainment in coach or public transport vehicle. NetBox will be pre-installed with a SIM card to offer LTE service unless otherwise specified. One power cord. The red wire is for the VCC line, the black wire is for the ground wire, the white wire is for the ACC line, two 3G, 4G Wi-Fi antennas, and one GPS antenna. If any of the parts are incorrect, missing, or damaged, please contact your NetBox dealer. Keep the original packaging materials in the event you will need to return the product for repair. There are some additional tools you will need during the installation. You'll need some extension wire, wire strippers, butt connectors, a cordless screwdriver, and a few number 10 by 3 quarter inch size screws. Step 1. Select a location for your NetBox. We suggest installing your NetBox inside the overhead compartment reserved for the driver at the front of the vehicle. Prepare your work area by removing the panel between the area where your NetBox will be installed and the adjacent compartment. Make sure both compartments are open, well lit, and free of debris. Step 2. Find the 12 or 24 volt power supply line for your unit. There may be a cord labeled wireless pre-installed on your vehicle. These are installed by the bus manufacturer on most newer buses for just this purpose. Step 3. Measure the distance from your power source to the location you want to install your net box. If your power source is beyond the length of the power supply cord supplied with your net box, you'll need to use an extension wire, wire cutters, zip ties, and butt connectors to extend your reach. Solder your butt connectors to ensure a secure connection. Step 4. Connect the red ACC and white VCC wires to the battery line. Connect the black wire to the ground line. If necessary, thread your extension wire through the back of the cabinet to reach your power source. Step 5. We suggest affixing the GPS antenna at the front of the adjacent cabinet next to where your net box is located. You may affix the antenna by either peeling back the protective cover on the 3M adhesive backing on the antenna and pressing it to any available smooth surface, or by using zip ties to tie the GPS antenna to any existing feature. Step 6. Mount the net box by using two or four number 10 by 3 quarter inch size screws. Step 7. Attach the GPS, Wi-Fi, and LTE antennas and the power cord to the net box. Step 8. Check that the signal lights are functioning. After connection, wait 30 seconds for each of the five signal lights to power on and illuminate. You will have successfully installed the net box when the power signal is a solid red light, the status light is flashing green, and that the 2.4G, 5G, and 3G, 4G all have an illuminated solid green light. Step 9. Replace the panel between the overhead compartments, pulling tight any loose wires. Step 10. Record the serial number of your net box. The serial number is located on the back of your net box. Registering your serial number will ensure that all related service provided by NetBox, including configuring the control panel, will be done efficiently. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to contact us at 202-681-5508 for any support.